This is California's Silicon Valley. Lots of the best technologies ever invented, like the internet, were created right here. Say hello to Vanessa and her friend May. They're going to give you a sneak peek at what it takes to make the internet work. It's messaging, email, e-shopping. I just can't get enough of the internet. So I came here to learn more about how this stuff really works. Vanessa's company helped make today's internet possible. Now she's working hard to make tomorrow's internet even better. My official title is technical marketing engineer, which means I'm a trained expert in certain fields. And I design, I install, and troubleshoot computer networks. And I get to teach other engineers about new technologies, and I fix customer problems all around the world. The part of the internet you see is made up of thousands of lines of a programming language called HTML. Now I don't write HTML, but what I do allows you to use it to do things like shop online, or to play video games with people around the world, or you can also send instant messages to all of your friends anytime, anywhere. So let's see what else we can find. Okay. Now remember, everything you see on the monitor is coded with HTML. What's really cool is the fact that the information on a website like HarryPotter.com may be stored in a faraway country, but thanks to the internet. You can see it and interact with it anywhere you can get online. So, how does the internet know how to find my computer, the stuff I want to see, and the best way for me to send stuff to people, like an IM to my friend? So that's where the gear my company makes, like routers and switches, comes in. So when you send your friend an instant message, the first stop is a router. Routers are devices that send information speeding along the internet to the right place, the right way. You may even have one in your house, like a Linksys router. If so, you connect wirelessly to your Linksys router, which helps to connect your house to the internet. From there, your message goes through a series of routers until it figures out where your friend lives. So the router closest to your friend's house then takes your message, delivers it through her internet connection, and finally to her computer. All that for one IM? How does it happen so fast? Well, part of my job is to configure routers so that everything on the internet happens better, faster, and safer. Safer? Yep. A lot of the information that companies gather is really valuable and really private, kind of like the IMs that you send to your friends. So part of my job is to come up with new ways to protect that information so that no one can steal it or read it along the way. I would be so mad if anyone read my messages. How did you get to be such an expert? I took some special math and science courses, and I studied hard and got certified. And in those classes, I met some really great people. So we started some study groups. Which were really a lot of fun. That extra work and extra knowledge really opened up my world, and it helped me prove that I know my stuff. Wow! What else do you do? Well, every day is a little different, but my job is kind of like solving a big puzzle. When I get to work, I spend about an hour and a half going through all the emails my group receives. Some of these emails are about problems with equipment that needs to be fixed fast. Because if a router is broken, you could lose your internet connection. Right, but because of a technology called remote diagnostics, I don't necessarily have to be where the broken equipment is to fix it. I can check out a router that's a few states away and make adjustments right from my desk, my house, or anywhere else I can securely get on the internet. But just because I do a lot of work on my computer doesn't mean I'm some kind of hermit. In fact,、uh, I'd say about 70% of my day I spend working with people. I travel a lot, and I set up labs to help other engineers get up to speed on the newest stuff. So I'm a teacher too, and teaching is one of my favorite parts of my job. So, what do you do when you're not working?、Uh, I do lots of other stuff, like triathlons, baking, sewing, and I like to build things. And right now, I'm planning my wedding. I work hard, but it's not always nine to five. Oh, um, do you always want to be an engineer? Well, growing up as a kid, my twin sister and I liked to build things, so we became engineers, and my brother did too. But to tell you the truth, when I went to college, I didn't have a clue what I wanted to do. Are you glad you chose this career? Yeah, I really am, and I encourage girls like you to check it out. In fact, I joined a group at work where we talk a lot about stuff like this. I mean, the internet is just getting started, so we need young girls like you to step up, speak up. And help shape the future with technology that touches the world in really meaningful ways. And besides, the money's pretty good, so I can live the way I want to live, and I can help out my family too. Vanessa's story was really fun. If you're interested in the internet and computers, 
You could be a technology fashion designer, an internet security specialist, a TV news reporter, a forensic scientist, or you could have a job that hasn't even been invented yet. Click on the Tell Me More link for information.